jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'd like you to get yourself comfortable sitting either in a comfortable chair that supports your body in the event of you falling asleep. Or lying down, maybe on a bed. Remembering that you can change your physical position at any time in order to feel more comfortable. Now I'd like for us to just go through your body. You can go through how you feel. I'm going to do the same with how I feel. We're going to start at the top of our heads, moving down to our feet. And I'm just going to mention each part. We're not going to try to relax those parts of the body. And you may be thinking, well, why not, JJ? This is a relaxation session. I know, I know. I'd say one of the, well, there's a few different reasons. And if you're listening for the first time, I kind of don't want to spoil it. Spoil the surprise. The fact is, when we focus on a part of your body, and all you're doing is observing, a feeling away, that in itself is relaxing, that in itself allows that body part to just get back to how it naturally feels, it's almost, if you think about squadron that's being inspected by the squadron leader and everyone's standing up straight chest out shoulders back you know immaculate condition everything perfect shoes all shiny whatever and as soon as the sergeant says go from being at attention, their legs go apart and their arms maybe go behind their body, behind their back, and they're more relaxed. But they're still alert, they're still aware, they're still very much aware that their sergeant is there looking at them. part of the body being relaxed because when you decide to just do a body scan you're saying to your body at ease just be there there's nothing to do The sergeant says, dismissed. Everyone there, including the sergeant, relaxes. Because they're no longer being watched, they're no longer being expected. Just relax. Now I'm not a soldier, but I used to be. I'm trying to say this without laughing. 
I used to be in the Sea Cadets for a couple of years. So I did a lot of <laughs> a lot of marching and stuff. But when you're observing to start with, it's almost like you said to your body at ease. Not dismissed, but at ease. So the body just is there, knowing that the next thing they hear will be dismissed, which means relax. Just do what you want. So as we observe our body, just noticing how it feels in its natural state, but in a, a looser place where relaxation and tension may be there at the same, little bits will be there at the same time. I say at the same time because a fully relaxed body cannot have any tension. You can't be stressed and relaxed at the same time. But there are times when we can have a bit of both, a little bit of both. But one always dominates. So if there's tension in your shoulders and you feel it, it's because the tension is dominating that part of your body. It's dominating your attention and your focus at this time. Once your shoulders start to relax and let go of that tension, the relaxation dominates. So only one feeling can dominate any one time and you can choose whether it's feeling relaxed or tension stress physical discomfort and when you put it that way it's not really a difficult choice point we're not deciding anything. All we're doing is observing to see which part of the body perhaps needs our attention most. But something wonderful happens because as you go around part, something happens which happens in a squadron, in an army, even in the cadets, when you're being inspected, when you're being watched, there's a degree of tension there, even if you're at ease, but once you've been observed, and the sergeant moves on to the next person, you automatically start to relax. Even though you haven't been dismissed by the sergeant, you are automatically starting to calm down and feel good and maybe thinking about more positive things and what you can do to have fun maybe so we're going to just focus on your body and notice that this idea seems to come into play a little bit because when you observe your arms 
the legs or your stomach. It's almost like your stomach or your arms or your legs are aware that you're focusing and observing them. And once you've finished observing and moved on to the next part, that previous part starts to relax. Sometimes when you focus, the part that you focus on starts to relax already. And there's the other side because there's the inner squadron, there's a sergeant, he's going through the first 10 people, there might be 30 people all standing there after maybe five or six the rest of the squadron also start to relax because they're seeing their friends and their comrades are okay start to relax in the same way as when you start in uh, your face, you know, your forehead, your eyes, your jaw. Your neck, your chest. By the time you get to your chest, your feet, your toes, your legs will be relaxing, your hips will be relaxing, your stomach will already have started to relax, your shoulders, arms, hands and fingers will be relaxing. Ultimately, relaxation is so powerful, it can seep into the tiniest entrance, wherever there's a, an opening, relaxation will enter, if possible, when you allow it, when you open your mind to it. So that natural feeling of comfort can spread through your body and your mind, really without much effort whatsoever. Because that's your natural state, is to feel relaxed. And of course, falling asleep is 99.9. Relaxation. The part between feeling deeply relaxed and being asleep isn't even noticeable. It just happens. We're not aware of it. We don't need to be aware of it. It's just a natural progression and if falling, falling asleep is something you need to do or something that you perhaps want to do you're giving yourself that suggestion by thinking it which means your mind and your body know which direction to take with the relaxation Sometimes relaxing is just nice for itself, for its own sake, just to let go for maybe 20 minutes, just to give yourself a break from the day. Other times, you just want to go to 
sleep and you want your thoughts to slow down or disappear altogether and that's a natural side effect of relaxing your thoughts slow down and sometimes disappear altogether because there's nothing to think about because the, the feeling of relaxation spreading through your body and your mind is all there is to focus on there's no room for anything else because it's negativity and stress and tension and physical discomfort that's what activates the mind to be thinking negative thoughts or any other thoughts tension and stress stimulates the mind to think to think about all the reasons why this and that but when you're relaxed the exact opposite happens because relaxation does not lead to thinking relaxation does not stimulate the brain to think about anything if anything what happens when you relax is that relaxation enters your brain and your mind and heals your mind and brain not just calming down eliminating negative thoughts or chatter but it kind of cleans up your mind heals fills it up with peacefulness because you don't need thoughts in order to appreciate and experience this relaxation that's already grown within you and I know that we haven't started scan yet and we'll do that now as you probably already noticed the way you feel has changed you feel more calmer but in a natural way and in a way that if you were to think about it may not even make sense Absolutely nothing to think about. And that in itself increases your relaxation ten times stronger. Because being able to just let go of all thoughts, all thoughts, even the nice ones, it doesn't matter. Being able to just take a break from all your thinking is such a freeing experience such an amazing feeling of comfort of letting go of everything it's very healing as well so we're going to start by focusing and as we focus just notice how your body feels in that part of your body. Focus in on the, your forehead. Your eyes and your eyelids. And those muscles around your eyes. face, including your ears, your nose, your cheeks, and then 
as your mouth, not just your lips, not just your gums, your teeth, your tongue, but also around the outside of your mouth, your top lip. The creases in your mouth, the corners of your mouth, that part between your bottom lip and your chin. Basically, the, the, the part beneath your nose that goes up to your ears all the way around your chin. That whole area, the bottom half. Your jaw, well, it's more where your mouth is, I guess, isn't it? The crease of your mouth. Often we focus on the jaw as being more the chin, but so much of it is the area near your ears. You can feel it when you talk or when you eat. You can feel and there's that connection. So the jaw is quite a large area really of your face. Then there's your neck front of your neck, the sides of your neck, and the back of your neck. Some people hold tension in the back of their neck. I do, sometimes. And when you think about your neck, how strong your neck must be The head weighs a lot. So the neck needs to have a lot of loving care, a lot of appreciation, maybe gratitude towards what the neck does for us. Moving down chest, just like the stomach, your chest moves every time you breathe, I think that's what kind of connects it to the stomach in a way, is the fact that it's near the stomach but it is affected by your breathing, and it's really weird that I say that because I've noticed in my stomach almost any remaining tension just left my stomach <laughs> and my stomach feels so relaxed so focus in on the back your upper back that has that connection to your chest as well also moves when you breathe the middle of your back and your lower back. So the lower back and the middle has that connection to your stomach. But it's also the lower back connected to your hips. The last part of your torso is your lower back. Mine's feeling quite loose, and that's a part of me that I have uh, issues with, and at the moment it feels very relaxed. All that talk about soldiers have just relaxed me, weirdly. Then there's the shoulders. your elbows, your wrists, your forearms of course, your hands, your fingers, there's a real sense of comfort when you relax your arms, it's 
especially your hands. I don't know why that is, but there's some kind of correlation between relaxing your hands and relaxing your mind. There's a real connection there. same goes with your lower body so there's your hips you can focus on your groin area your buttocks the tops of your legs that connect to your hips your thighs knees shins and uh, calf muscles like the hands, there seems to be this correlation between relaxing your feet and having a relaxed mind. It's quite nice. And just allow yourself to feel whatever you feel in those parts of your body. Now I feel very relaxed. ask you to go ahead and keep doing that until you don't need to do it anymore. Starting at the top of your head, your forehead, your eyes, your jaw, neck, chest, Shoulders, arms, hands, your hips, your legs and your feet. Just going through each part of your body. Maybe you could just say to yourself, dismissed. to feel however it wants to feel and you can do that in your own time for as long as you want until you no longer want to do it or no longer need to do it and I'll leave you to do that Enjoy the beat.